The end for Dad was the hardest week of my life because it's something you don't ever expect is going to happen. It kind of broke me in a way. I've, I've never felt the same as that since. You did in me. Tissues. Daddy cooked that from the cooking for Christmas 2007. Happy birthday, dear Daddy. My mate, Daddy. My dad was very loving, very caring man. He was very talented, very clever. He was a musician for when he was very young. Music was his life. Dad had young onset Alzheimer's in his late 50s. I was 12 when the signs first started showing. He deteriorated very quickly and I had to grow up quickly. There were times when I would be at school waiting to be picked up and he'd forget to pick me up. There was a sense that I was losing my dad we were reluctant to say anything, you know, even just to say the word dementia, because that would be kind of speaking it into life. Hi, Jodie. Hello, Janet. Oh, so nice to see you again. Yeah, From the very off, Jodie was so supportive and friendly. She was a lifesaver for mum. That's the thing about Admiral Nurses and what we do is that we are there to support the whole family. When you think of Ben now, how do you remember him? or How do you want to remember him? I miss his voice. I miss going to watch him sing. I think of him as being a very happy, positive person. And I remember the music he brought into our lives. When my dad went into care was the hardest time for me. At that point, he couldn't communicate at all, really, apart from his smile. Even when he couldn't talk, you could see it in his eyes. He had, a, he had like a shimmer in his eye. He was happy just to be with us as a family. The funeral was obviously a very difficult day. The fact that Jodie came was really special because she was there through the whole journey with us and saw us as a family how no one else saw us. And I think it just shows the kind of person that she is and the kind of nurse that she is, that she wants to help our family through the darkest days.